everyone. Welcome to episode two of Red Flags, or as I like to think of it, more epic tales of embarrassment on my part. Ugh, this next story, not even anyone in my family has heard it. We're going to go to the year 1999. I was 12 years old and obsessed with those hockey movies that Disney made, The Mighty Ducks. You know, D2, D3. You, you, you know the deal. Anyway, I was obsessed with one particular character, Adam Banks. He was a spoiled rich kid in those movies. And I didn't know, I didn't realize that it was a crush at the time. But I remember every time he came on the screen, I would get this tingly feeling and I just had to watch. I was um, so infatuated with him that I decided to create a website dedicated to him with one of those state-of-the-art web hosting services called Angel Fire, as opposed to GeoCities, which was just garbage. But yeah, I, um, I was researching different websites that were already out there about him, and I found it very endearing that instead of wanting to be an actor slash model, he aspired to be a veterinarian and had basically left Hollywood in order to go to Boston University, which I thought was really cool and made him even more appealing to me. Yeah. Much to his displeasure, I'm sure. Anyway, um, I had already posted a whole bunch of Mighty Duck fan fiction stories centered around his character on other websites. So um, basically I decided to put him on my own site called the Vincent A. LaRusso Museum. Yeah, it was a very epic website. And within months, it had become the number one top visited website dedicated to him. Granted, there were only about six of them out there, but still, I, I win. I love winning. Yeah, I do. Anyway, um, at one point, I think I dug myself so deep, I ended up um, hacking into the Boston University database and finding his student email account. And I released the email address on the website. So I'm sure his inbox was full of like dozens and dozens of emails from fangirls and fanboys alike. Um, so I think that then the very next day, I received an email from Vincent's girlfriend asking me to please stop. <laughs> and, um, and of course I apologized to her and, um, and wrote a little note to Vincent himself. And I remember signing it, your number one fan. Yeah. And I remember also around that time, some random internet troll had called me out on my Vincent obsession, I guess implying that I was gay. I think he, someone, someone I didn't even know. But yeah, they asked me if I was gay. And I was like, I'm 12 years old. How dare you? It's like, I had no idea what sexuality was. So really just shut that down. He never even had any comeback for that. So yeah. I never heard anything from Vincent after I sent the email to his girlfriend. And about two months later, my infatuation had kind of faded away, so I just deleted the website altogether. And I moved on to my next target, Ryan Phillippe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 